Let's myth bust something big. Aryan didn't start as a racial label. It began as a word in ancient Indo-Iranian languages, Rigveda in Sanskrit, Avesta in Avestan, meaning noble, used by the peoples who spoke those languages. Over time, the term was twisted into dangerous racist nonsense. That's not what I'm talking about. I I'm talking about language. Back to the basics. In the late 18th and 19th centuries, scholars noticed something odd. Languages across Europe and into Iran and India shared family resemblances. Sanskrit, Greek, Latin, matching words and grammar bones. Father, potter, pitar, three, trays, tri. The simplest explanation? They descended from Proto-Indo-European, or P. Pai itself wasn't written down. It's reconstructed, like linguistic archaeology, by comparing sound changes and vocabulary across daughter languages, Celtic, Germanic, Slavic, Italic, Greek, Armenian, Albanian, Indo-Iranian branch, Persian, and many languages of South Asia. So here's the big question. Where did PIE originate, and how did it spread across Europe and Asia? The hunt brings three kinds of evidence. First, linguistics, regular sound laws and shared core vocabulary, map family trees and timelines. Second, archaeology, material cultures show movement and interaction, tools, pottery styles, burial practices. Third, ancient DNA, genomes from old skeletons reveal migrations and mixing that may align or clash with linguistic trees. Put together, these clues point to real people moving, sharing technology, and sometimes replacing languages. But languages spread for many reasons. Trade, prestige, mobility. Not because one race is superior. So, Aryan originally, you're East speakers of Indo-Iranian languages, not a biological category. And P.I., the reconstructed ancestor tying Sanskrit, Greek, Latin, and many more, into one big human story. How words travel, evolve, and connect us across continents and centuries.